on square, seeing a big notice board, and there's a notice guitar lessons. Like, you don't get people in the town go, I don't want to play the guitar! <laughs> and you go, but I don't f***ing want guitar lessons! <laughs> Do you want to tell it to me? Ah, uh, we're checking back in with our friend. I say that ironically, the quartering and his attempt to be the superior comedy man via James Corden. Now, I want to say I do prefer Craig and some of the other people who are the hosts. I don't hate James Corden, but yeah, he was caught red handed stealing a joke. Technically, I guess it's one of his writers, but it looks pretty bad. And in of itself, if the quartering had just stopped there, that's fine. That's great. Actually, pretty funny. He called out some quote, Hollywood hypocrisy, but of course he has to go down the right-wing conspiracy pro-Nazi nutcase region of the YouTube. I'm not even quite sure how this all adds up because he's completely contradicting himself. Gig, Ricky Gervais, humanity. That's what I mean. It wasn't like an obscure joke that he told in an open mic. Everyone knows that joke. Gervais rewriting. Okay, so it is pretty clear that this is a stolen joke. And even some of what the quartering says about James Corden not having a lot of influence is fine. Then it doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense. You know, is that nobody really cares about them and that, that they don't have as much pull as they think. You're saying you're unmasking the evil, gay, communist Hollywood plot? Turns out nobody really cares about them. Nobody really pays attention to all this stuff. You know, I've seen through the illusion. Okay, so I guess he's the Marx of the new alt-right online and has figured it all out. But then he says something kind of strange, which completely contradicts what he just said. I doubt he would knowingly copy such a famous stand-up routine word for word like that. The Late Late Show also deleted the video of Corden making the joke from their Twitter page. I mean... Yeah. And by the way, who's writing your jokes? Like, you took that straight out of a comedy special. Like, a popular one. This isn't, like, normal where, like, joke, you know, joke... Th Are you saying that James Corden, he has no real influence or power? But Ricky Gervais does have a lot of influence and power. Wouldn't that contradict your whole thing about Hollywood elitists? Or are you saying that Ricky Gervais is some radical independent voice in comedy who lives in a woodshed out in the wilderness and he only occasionally comes back into civilization to give his buddhist comedy routine and then just slips back into obscurity you're not making a whole lot of sense and factually speaking you're completely wrong like you used mencia mencia didn't just steal obscure stuff he actually stole very famous routines i know for a fact i looked at one of the things he did and people traced it back to Bill Cosby. So even there, you're wrong. And I like how he slipped in, you know, there's normal joke stealing, which of course is kind of a cute way of acknowledging a lot of his own stuff is stolen. He just repeats talking points from other right wing maniacs. Like his own jokes are, of course, probably stolen and taken from other people. Oh, that's fine though. You know, guys, you know, you know joke stealing is okay, but wow, he did the big joke stealing. Wait, you just said the Hollywood nutcase gay communist people don't have any influence. Nobody really cares. Nobody's really listening. Why would Ricky Gervais be a top 10 of anything? You're saying the real secret is nobody cares, nobody listening. If nobody cares and nobody listens, why are you even doing the video? You're not making any sense. So, good on him calling out James. It's fine. It's fine. It happens. Writers get lazy and him calling out the laziness, that's perfectly fine. We can all have a good laugh. I don't even think Ricky cares. He was just poking fun at James and the writers. That's fine, too. But really, where are we going with this pro-Elon, pro-Hitler, pro-Gina Carano stance and pretending simultaneously, you know, the Z-listers are going off Twitter. You know, I'm standing with Gina Carano and Elon. And you're like, wait, and people in Hollywood, they got no power and influence. You do realize Elon Musk is technically part of the Hollywood system, right? He's been doing cameos in big films, so... I don't know. I don't know. Recording is not the worst guy on the internet, but boy, his stuff is so insanely stupid and crazy and conspiracy nonsense. I guess in his own weirdo, wacko world, his contradictions are not contradictions. But when other people have contradictions, 
oh, you best believe he's going to do videos, and simultaneously says, well, guys, nobody cares. But, you know, let me do a video and monetize it. Well, if nobody cares, why are you doing the video and monetizing it? I, I don't know. I'm sure one day the Coring will publish his great volume of logic of explaining the Coring logic and how we've all missed the ways to get out of contradicting yourself, even when he's contradicting himself.